Uh, Landon, a really great run for you. How much of a confidence boost is for you personally, especially after it's it's been a pretty humdrum Xfinity year for you? Yeah, I mean it's been a, it's a great day, and um, you know a top five is is awesome for this team, and um, for me it's it's exciting to be able to you know um, have those kind of moments in this next gen car. Uh, I feel like it's something that I really learned in the next gen car that that makes me look forward to racing it um, some more. You're one of the few drivers in the field that actually has a lot of experience. Like they've been around for a while. What did the? How do these next gen cars like really feel? Like, what's your opinion on them at their super speedway racing? They're just really on edge, and um, there's you know there's a lot there until until it isn't. So um, you know once you lose the car, you can't you can't save it. Um, but it's you know they're they're in scenarios like this. It was really a lot of fun. I heard you said something about losing the ride and have to win it back. Just now, I think I missed that. What was that about? Well, I just I just knew that on the last lap, um, the you know the two the three and the eight were not gonna break up from each other. And so I knew that no matter how good of a run I backed up and got myself, I wasn't going to be able to pass both of them all at the same time. So I felt like I would have to lose my run, somehow break up the draft and the energy of the leaders, and then regain it for the second half of the lap coming to the checker to, to, to win the race. Jared Haas with FrenchStretch.com. Make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also, check one of those two videos out that we have right beside you. Visit FrenchStretch.com for more great content.